I mean, you can see how thick that is. Look at that. It's like syrup, honey. It's like honey coming out. What's up, guys? So we're going to talk about the importance of having a professional surfactant. Do you need a professional surfactant? Technically, no. You can use Dawn, Gain, laundry detergent. Anything with bubbles, I guess you could technically use. But I use professional surfactant because it's meant for it. So um, let's just say hypothetically you cause damage on a house and maybe there's a fire and, you know, you're downstreaming and a fire starts and, you know, who knows, something really bad could happen or even if the fire department comes, puts it out and nothing, you know, no one gets hurt. But they ask you, you know, what do you use? And you tell them sodium hypochlorite, and I use uh, roof snot. It's a uh, bleach stable surfactant meant for roof cleaning. You show them the SDS sheets, you're good to go. Um, if you're using Dawn, for instance, it wouldn't be a good look if they're asking you what you use and you show them you're using Dawn and you know they look into it and they say well right here it says on the bottom bottle do not add bleach you don't want to be caught in a situation like that so yeah i don't want to get into the what it costs per price with dawn versus roof snot or apple watch whatever you may use it can't be too much i mean i spend i think 80 dollars for a five gallon of roof snot and it lasts me i want to say at least three to six months so you know, if you're doing, I mean, I'm using this stuff daily, especially for roof cleaning. I'm using a lot of it and I still takes me six months, three, six months to get through the whole five gallon of it. So, you know, maybe it costs $2 for a bottle of Dawn, but how much Dawn are you putting in? So after time, you may not even really be saving money if that, you know, I'm not going to do the math for you, but I bet you it's close or not even much more. Heck, it might even be cheaper to buy the, the real deal stuff. But you don't want to be in a scenario where you cause damage or, you know, uh, there's a guy, I forget his name. I think his name's Bojo said he's got a lot of company trucks and he just made a video on, online the other day and he was talking about how one of, he had a, a complaining customer come out and wanted to know what they were using and he was able to produce the SDS sheets. So, again, you don't want to be like, oh, we're using Dawn or, you know, have a customer watch you pour dish soap into their mix. And, I mean, yeah, I guess it's not a big deal. But at the end of the day, I personally use the professional stuff. And um, the, you, the mix I use is Snotmanade and Cherry or Lemon or Roof Snot, whatever, whatever I get feel like getting that time. And then I mix it with Slow Mo 4 to 1. So I'll put four parts snotmanade to one part slow-mo and then i'll take that and put one cup of that per gallon and in my six gallon tank for soft washing for roof cleaning and even downstream and i have a six gallon tank that you'll see in this video so check it out Snotmanade, uh, I like cherry, I like lemon, I switch back and forth. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're taking some cherry snotmanade, and I got about uh, two and a half gallons in here. So I usually do about four to one, five to one with snotmanade, and uh, so snotmanade from Russ Johnson Southside Equipment, and then I also add a uh, slow-mo it's from Lori Smith pressure washing products and this stuff is extremely thick 
make sure you're in the camera here. All right, perfect. So, what I'll do is, so we got, let me get this out of the way. I mean, you can buy this stuff in gallons. I just buy it in fives just because, honestly, next time I'll just probably buy a 55 gallon because shipping is what gets you. But, like I've talked about, uh, it's important to use a professional surfactant. And yes, you, you know, Gain and Dawn, you know, that stuff will work, but there's reasons I don't use it. So anyway, I got two and a half gallons, so we'll add like a half gallon of this slow-mo in there. I mean, you can see how thick that is. Look at that. It's like syrup, honey. It's like honey coming out. Alright. That's about a half gallon. Now I got the cherry snot made. So about four to one. So if you're doing four gallons, add a gallon of slow mo. I'm doing two and a half or two and a half gallons of snot. So I'm adding half gallon of slow mo. So if I added five gallons of snot, I would do a full gallon. You know, four to one, five to one, whatever. And then you gotta shake this stuff up. Get that all shooken up. Put the caps back on. Got some dirt in there. But this stuff is really thick. Good stuff. And snotmanate I love too. And the smell's really good. Um, now what I do let me take you with me. Now what I do is, when I'm on the truck, I carry, you know, a bunch of different chemicals. I got Red Raider, F9 products, graffiti removal, LA Awesome, I got gutter grenade, but this is my snotmanade here. And I'll take that five gallon jug I made up, and I'll just pour it into a gallon. And then I carry this on the truck. Now, back here, I'm not sure you'll see it, but if you look back there, you'll see a blue tank, a real skinny tank. I uh, fill that up, and how I fill that up is right here. So what I do is I pour you know a couple cups so i'll put about three four cups of the snot slow-mo mixture i'll put three four cups in here and then i'll top it off with water so it's a five six gallon tank so let's say a cup per gallon of this mix i do then it goes through my metering system and what i where i put it is this is my soap if you have the gf valve I put it between 20 and 30, or 20 and 40, so it's about 30 on the GF valves. It would be like a one on the black and white ones. So that's how long that lasts me. So if I'm roof cleaning, that's my setting. And then actually when I'm downstreaming, I shut my water off, turn my SH all the way up, and keep it at the same spot. Just crack it open. And that's my mix for um, Snotmanade and slow-mo for my surfactant oh yeah I got the new Honda GX 800 pretty sweet but yeah that's 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 the mixture I use guys so whatever floats your boat 
Um, I like in, in my proportioner tank, I do a cup per gallon. So a cup of soap per gallon of water. So five gallon tank, five cups of soap, five gallons of water. And you know, you can do however you guys like. And that's about 10 to one. But like with this slow-mo stuff, it makes my snotmanade super thick. Um, super thick. I mean, that's super thick as is. So when I mix it with snot, because here's some pure snotmanade. You can see it, it works really good. I love this stuff, but it's really liquidy. And adding that makes it thicker. So that's how I do it. And then I just keep all this shit. I got to clean all this out. But like I said, I take that and fill up my gallon. Put my gallon on the truck and then fill up as we're out in the field with that tank so hope that helps